All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Call to Arms. I did a couple of videos on Call to Arms in the last couple of weeks and you guys really seem to enjoy them in general. Now here we are back in the Air and Land Warfare missions, which by the way is a great mod and I'll link it in the description. And today we're gonna be taking over as the pilot of an A-10 Warthog providing close air support or CAS for friendly forces on the ground. We're only going to be controlling the Warthog. I already see some AA right there. I looked at this mission and it looked really promising. And to be honest, I mean, who doesn't want to fly an A-10 around and just shoot that main gun and destroy tanks, use the rockets, ATGMs, you name it. There's a buttload of weaponry on board. I'm just kind of excited to see how this is going to go. I'm not really sure if I can actually die other than crashing the plane, but I guess we're going to have to find out together. Let's go. So we are on station in our badass A-10 Warthog. We got 30 millimeter cannon. We got hydro rockets. We've got ATGMs on board. So what that's gonna mean is we're gonna try to take out some of these targets for the ground force. Now the thing is the hydras are not very effective at that. I have found that they are not very good against anything besides lightly armed vehicles or bunched up infantry. The ATGMs or AGMs are fantastic, however, on the other hand. But let's use some of the extra dust danger close infantry right here. There's even a, uh, a friendly vehicle down here. Okay, looks like that's a hit. Ooh, T-55, I believe, is down. And let's not fly inside of those windmills. That'll just be a bad, bad thing for us to happen if we do that. All right, that area is secure. Next up. Friendly forces are securing this. Okay, it looks like we've secured all sectors besides the second one from the right. So we're turning back around. There is some light vehicles in the back. Switch to the first per- Oh, okay, they're just over here. We can actually use that from this camera. I, I'm really kind of between the first and the third person. Like, obviously this is a lot cooler, but I can't really see what I'm doing. And like, I don't want to fly into a building with this thing or a tree or anything like that. So let's clear this area right here. Area is secure. There's still some enemies left. We're gonna hold fire. Uh, obviously, if they've marked it blue, that means to hold fire. They've secured the area. We're gonna be moving on to the next line of defense. We actually got a tank right here. Let's hit that with an AQGM. Okay, we got to reload our AGMs, but we did damage it at least. Looking for. Ooh, hello there. I like this. Oh, and it did not like that. Okay, good. Okay, we got friendlies pushing in over here. Let's actually provide some support. There's a lot of enemies in this town. Ooh, his down. There's a lot. Oh, there's even more over here. One away, two away. No joy, no joy. We got strikers. So uh, I'm assuming Marines or Army there pushing up on the side. And they're being heavily hit by these tanks. Okay, that one is down. We only got one rocket left for right now. We gotta go reload. So let's switch to the Gao and just say hello. With the 30 mil, let's try and not hit these power lines as we turn around. Get some free shots on them. T-80s stand no chance against the continuous hits from the 30 mil. That one actually did stand a pretty decent chance. It actually didn't even really budge at all. Oh no, it's smoking. Never mind, it's smoking. All right, next up, MI-24. No, we'll get that in a second. I think a T-55, he is... Definitely not coming back from that one. We're gonna get some more hits on this town here, which is fully occupied by infantry and enemy infantry. Also, there was also a light vehicle in there. None of you guys saw that was a, uh, a ZU truck, I think, but I'm assuming we took it down. It's not firing at us. But to come back to here again, there was a tank back here. AGM and one and two and nope, no joy. Get a sort of quick snapshot off on that one. Totally forgot there's an entire base over here we have to clear out too. T-55 is down. Still, there's a little tank right here. Okay, we gotta reload. It's not down. We have Abrams pushing up. Gotta start supporting our, our boys on the ground here. Nope, you are down. We're just... <laughs> wow, this 30 mil is ridiculous. It just makes the sandbags that they're hiding behind disappear. There's no cover for them there. There's still some enemies behind these sandbags or 
Whatever they were, they're gone now. Infantry and the cover are both gone. Most of this town here is secured. There's still some light resistance over here. We got a ZU truck that showed up. We'll take on the power line or the water tower. No joy on, uh, let's go for reload here. No hits or no definitive kill on that tank, though it is on fire. MI24 still uh, alive. Switch to the, oh, never mind. We are about to rock at that, but then they called off the strike. So let's switch to our missiles here and just obliterate it in a flyover. Oh. That was brutal. All right, we got one rocket left. Let's fire this off into the distance. Switch to the Gao, which has been reloaded. And let's try and take out some of the enemies that are still here. We got a ton of tanks left still. All right, that tank is down. Secured the area up here. Like I said, there's a few infantry left. Try not to commit friendly fire, but there's still a ton of infantry here that we need to take out for the friendly. So I might as well do that, even though they have the friendly marker up. Wow, that was great. That was actually really good. We have just left is a little bit of infantry in that middle area, it seems like. Let's switch to the... Actually, let's fire it on the MI2... Uh, on the MI8. And then do an attack run right over. There's a few enemies left. But it might have been a friendly I just shot at. Oh, well. I'm assuming he has his magical armor to withstand 30 mils, because uh, he's not going to survive if he doesn't have that. area has been deemed secure we definitely just if there was anything left of any sort of value we just destroyed it all right we are going for the final objectives coming in with the rocket run first okay that was not very effective we're expecting light fire right here we need to get out of there before they hit us too hard let's see in the ass like, I'm not really sure. Uh, obviously, the Warthog was a really effective plane for uh, American Air Forces dealing with any sort of nation's tanks in the Middle East. I just wonder, was uh, was one ever shot down? I'm ass Or by shot down, I mean, you know, did they ever lose one? I'm assuming yes, because, you know, there was obviously a lot of service. I'm assuming that, you know, they got shot down or they had to bail out due to just too much damage on the airframe. But it's a very interesting question. I actually have no clue myself, so... If anyone knows, or has any anecdotes, because there's always, for some reason, you guys always come up with these like, really cool stories about stuff. I'm like, man, I wish I, like, I wish I heard that before, because they just make for such cool things to tell to your friends. Like, Alright, he's down. We are reloading the AGMs. Uh, we have a ton of infantry with the Bradley there pushing in. Let's switch to our Hydras, and we're going to just do a run over to town. Not doing a lot of damage, though it just looks cool. <laughs> though I'm not sure if that's like really a, a good thing in the army. I think it needs to be effective. I don't, don't think they get any points for being cool or not. Very uh, danger close right there, but might have been necessary to some of those units right there. A lot of tanks, AGS or AGM just missed. I'm trying to figure out where, oh, there's one right here. Missed and that's a hit and that's a kill shot. Next up, looks down. Nope, we're reloading. We're reloading the AGMs. Okay, still a few guys left on scattered checkpoints besides the large bases. Having a harder time actually clearing these checkpoints out than anything else. There's a few right here in the tower. Okay, that's mostly clear now. We've secured that right sector. Tank. Oh, that crew that was trying to repair it, not having a great time after that second missile hit. Nope, didn't get that one though. Right, clear our, that's clear now. We got friendlies in the area. Ooh, that was a snapshot. We got friendlies in the area, but I think uh, those hydras were all on target, uh, aka on enemy targets. Still a few enemies left in this area. We'll use some more hydras. Sort of indiscriminately <laughs> use hydras against stuff over there. I mean, you know. If everyone is dead, can anyone really call the UN and say it was a war crime? Only have 100 rounds left before we gotta go for a reload, so we gotta make uh, good use of these remaining ones, which are mostly on this building here, it seems like. We took out most of the targets in there. Hiders are up and running. Get some more shots in right here. No, ooh, almost danger close. 
Turning around. More shots coming in. Okay, AQGMs are back up, or AGM, sorry. Ooh, that was a perfect hit. Ooh, two back-to-back -back perfect hits. Okay, that was not a perfect hit. I didn't even really, I just didn't want to fly into the building there, really. Enemy down. Ooh, double points. Still, we're clearing up the areas. Friendlies are having a harder time pushing through these objectives here. As you can see, there's still a ton of uh, stuff left. We've got a couple of rockets out there. We need to start clearing up these areas. There's just a ton of infantry around here. Oh, that building is now toast. A ton of tanks. I hope we're not going here for the, for, the few, uh, for the oil. Though I guess we are building as America, so that might be a stupid thing to say. But if we're here for the oil, then I just destroyed all the oil, and I'm really sorry. Okay, let's try and keep this bird up. We got more friendly units approaching the southeast. I think some Abrams just uh, came into the AO. Few enemies left there. There's a couple enemies left around these buildings right here. It seems like there's little bits of infantry, a little, a couple of tanks right here and there. Friendly helicopters? Did this hurt friendly helicopters or that was that? We got MGS strikers up here. Those will definitely be a great help for the guys on the ground. Still, a couple targets are marked, so we gotta try and figure out where they are. AGS, right? I keep saying AGS. I don't know why. It's it's the it's like the Russian 30 millimeter grenade launcher. And for some reason, I keep saying that instead of AGM. I'm not very smart, am I? We got some infantry here near the tower. That's gone. We got friendly infantry approaching that MI24. Still have at least one enemy armor, uh, which will go do a spin around right here, and we'll try and hit that, taking it out uh, so friendlies can push up finally. Didn't get that one just yet. There is still some more armor here on the right side as well. Right here. Okay, that looks like we're just doing damage, not really... Hitting them as fast as I'd like to. There is just a lot of stuff in the way. As you can see, our guys in the ground are having a lot of issues and trouble getting through here. I think most of these vehicles are... Ooh, some friendly fire bouncing up and down there. Let's not hit the trees. Let's come back around. I can't believe I haven't destroyed that vehicle yet. We'll come back around again. We're just aiming directly for this uh, T-80, I believe it is. We got friendly forces in very clo close proximity. It's very hard for us to do our job if they're going to be driving around. Also, let's fire that last Maverick because we have to reload. Destroying. It, the markers on the map are actually making it really hard to see where the enemies are exactly. I believe that was a good run. Actually, we might have taken down the crew on that left one. They're still the one behind this building, which we're not setting up for a good attack run on it. It's just my own fault. AGM. Tank. Down. It right, turns out they're having a lot of trouble with that one tank, but we finally managed to take him down. He was just uh, kind of hiding from us uh, in the sort of blue, orange, green, red mess on the map. So it was really hard to uh, particularly see that guy. But I think we have uh, successfully completed the mission. We have secured a, uh, a foothold for the Americans here. We destroyed the last of the GRM. So with that being said, I hope you guys... Enjoyed the mission. Love to see you guys in the next one. Cheers.